What's going on my goober gang? This is Dan and you're watching Green Machine Outdoors. As you can see, we're getting ready to do a little bit of bank fishing tonight, but if you're clicking on this video, you're probably interested in the best night fishing setup you could possibly have, whether you're filming or just want some light to see what's going on around you. Stay tuned and I'll get into it. Well, if you follow our channel, you know we spend most of our time in the kayak, a fair amount of time in the boat, and coming up here, we're gonna spend a lot of time fishing on the bank. But we like to get out on the water and fish whenever we get the opportunity. A lot of times that happens to be at night, and that provides a lot of challenges, especially if you like to make YouTube videos like us. Now, there are a lot of things to consider, but we like to boil it down into three topics when you're looking to find a good lighting system for your fishing needs. First, you want it to be portable. Second, you want it to be efficient so you can pay enough batteries to let it run all night. And third, you want to have some kind of solution to keep the bugs away. Because when it gets dark out and you fire those lights up, the bugs just swarm to it. This little package right here solves a lot of those. All right, well, we think the best solution to our fishing needs and hopefully yours too is this Convex LED camping light. I will put a link to it down in the description. I highly recommend you check it out. Another way to pick this light up is to contact Uncle Lou. His link is also in the description. You can reach out to him and he'll hook you up with the light as well. Let's open this package up. It's a nice, neat little package here. It's probably about 20, 25 inches or so. Really easy to carry, really light. Here's all the stuff that comes in the bag. I'm gonna start with the light first, and then as I dive into each of the accessories, I'll show you how they work. So this is really all there is to the light. It's a nice, thin little LED light. Tons of little LEDs in here. And you notice there's a strip around the outside and an inner layer. So there's multiple settings that you can use the remote control to help you with there. Different brightness levels. You can go from 25%, 50%, all the way up to 100%, and we'll show you what those look like when, when it gets dark around here. Okay, so this light comes on a telescoping pole that goes up to about 12 feet. And we'll show you why that's important and a really key element to this light in a moment. It's got a nice little foam handle down here. And then it comes with a very long cord. And as you can see, I've done a little bit of DIY action on mine. I went over to this two-prong SAE port. That's what most of my power packs are hooked up with. Here's an example of one of my power packs. It's got that output and I put a little switch on there as well. And this one has a 12 amp hour lithium battery inside of there. That'll run this light a very long time. If that power solution doesn't work for you, make it really easy for you. Disconnect. They've got a 12 volt right here, cigarette adapter. Plug that into your car or your boat or whatever you have rigged up that way, maybe a power box. There's also another way that it comes. Uh, I chopped this off and replaced it, but it had alligator clips that go right to any kind of battery that you might have. A couple other accessories in here. I'll show you how those work. We'll start with the bank rod holder since we're out on the bank right now. When you get the bank stake, all you do, put it in the ground, step down on it, and then you can mount the light right inside of there and it'll hold it up. And extend it up as far as you want to. You have a mounting cup with a screw base and that can mount in either direction on this suction cup. So anywhere that you could suction cup that, like think your vehicle, or a building or something like that. You can suction cup it and let it work like that. Well, it's finally dark enough where we can put this light to the test. The light that you're seeing on my face right now is actually from the little light that attaches to the GoPro Hero uh, Media Mod. So I'll link that down in the description as well. It does a pretty good job close up. As, as you can see, as I get out of the frame, I'm gonna disappear on you. I only took about two steps back and I disappeared. Now, when I snap my fingers, this light's gonna go on. It's gonna look like daylight out here. Three, two, one. Look at that. I can back up. Let me zoom the camera a little bit. I can back up. I can walk all the way over here. You can still see me. You can see all the rods and everything. It is good to go. Let me pull this camera up and show you how this is set up. All right, look at that. It just illuminates this whole little bank fishing area. That thing's about 12 feet up in the air. It's a nice night. We can just see a few bugs up there. You probably can't see them in the camera. But any bugs that would be in the area, they'd be drawn to the light. We'd pull the Kansas City Shuffle. We'd be down and away from them. So they would not be bothering us all too much. Now, like I was saying before, this light does come with a remote. Right now, it's on 100% brightness, which as you can see, it's like having a street light above you right now. 
I'm gonna show you 50% and 25% but we're gonna save that for the boat and the kayak. Now the majority of our fishing happens out on the kayak, whether we're doing a live stream, filming a video, doing a tournament, or just want to make sure the boats and other traffic on the water can see us, this light is what we rely on out there. This is a Hobie PA-14 with an H-rail right here. I put a clamp on there, an H-rail mount, and just bolted through some inch and a half PVC. You could probably get away with inch and a quarter, maybe even down to one inch, but just look how tight this is here. Okay, a little sloppy there. Works for me, that's what I had laying around. I have no issues with it. Like I said, a smaller pipe size might work a little bit better for you. But we're gonna go ahead and overlay some video of us kayak fishing right here. You can see just how bright this light is. Again, it extends 12 feet up in the air, keeps the bugs away so they're not messing with you the whole time. You can also see that depending on where you have this light, it plays a role in where the shadows fall. Being that far up in the air, you do have to play around with it a little bit. So if we're not using it like this and we're having trouble with shadows, a lot of times we'll go ahead and pop that in a rod holder, extend it out so it's pointing it right back into our face, and then our camera on our chest is pointing ahead so you don't get any interference there. Now there are two ways that I like to mount this light when I'm using it in the boat. I either take advantage of my vertical rod holders that I have right here, and just plop it right in there. This is really good when the bimini top's not up because as you can see, that thing extends way up into the sky. Now when I do have the bimini top up, I just move it over to my rod holder right here. And then it's sticking out towards the side of the boat and it can shine its light back on the rod rack underneath the bimini top. And I'll show you what those look like at night. All right, the sun has finally gone down. We've got this light fired up and I want you to see how great this lights up that rod rack. You can see absolutely everything that's going on, all your rods, all your reels. You can see your line bright as day. Probably doesn't show as good in the video as it does in real life, but it's like standing under, under a street light and fishing out here. This is the view where it's straight up in the rod holder. We'll do one more view from the side where we put it in the, the drifting rod holder up front where it's off to the side of the boat. All right, if we were to have the bimini top up, the rod is now off to the side of the boat in the rod holder, the post for the light and you can still see everything clear as day back here. Looks really good. Time to put the bird up in the sky and see what that looks like. All right, just look at that, how you can see all the bugs up near the light, nothing bothering us at all. We can see everything in the boat and we're nice and cozy down here below that light. All right, so this is showing the light on 100%. There's 50%, there's 25%. This looks a little low light in the GoPro, but I promise you can still see everything. And there's even less of a bug issue here. Plus you're gonna get a lot more runtime. That's the remote right here, remember? 50%, 100%, 25%, 50, 100. There's also a yellow light you could throw, which is a really nice overtone there. There's also some modes if you're into some flashing stuff, let's say you have a boat issue. Well, while we have no affiliation with the company Compex, we do think that's one of the best options out there for all situations of fishing across the board. I hope this video helped you out and you decide to pick one up. Remember, there's links down in the description. Go down there and check it out. If you do decide to use the Amazon link, it does support the channel, so we'd appreciate it if you do that. We hope this review helped you out. Poke around the channel, check out some of our fishing videos, mostly in the kayak, a little bit in the boat, a little bit from the bank. See you on the next one.